it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video I'm going to show you how to resize printables to suit the classic Happy Planner. You can use this same method for any type of printable. The only thing that you will do differently is the dimensions that you enter in your printer menu. So the type of printables that I like to resize, obviously the Happy Planner have their own inserts but if you didn't like them you can resize any printable to fit. Um, but mainly I resize these sort of reference type printables, things like cleaning checklists, to-do lists, all the stuff that Happy Planner have not um, created as inserts and just because I like my own designs anyway. So open up whatever printable you're using. I'll include the link below if you like this one. It's in my printable shop. I am in Adobe Reader and then go to File Print. I've got my printer selected. I'm going to go to Properties. Now I'm using a Canon printer but if you're using a different one like a Brother printer your menu might look slightly different but it will be somewhere in like a page setup or a Properties or an Advanced menu and it'll look like this or something similar. The one you want to look for is printer paper size. So I live in Australia, if you haven't already picked up from my um, accent, we use A4 size paper. If you're in the US, you'd use letter size. Now the Happy Planner is kind of an odd page size, which does not appear as a default one in this menu. But if you go to custom, you can enter in whatever dimensions that you like. So I've got my planner in front of me. It is seven inches wide by, I think it was 9.25 before when I measured it. Memory of a goldfish, I'll just remeasure it again. Yeah, 9.25. So seven by 9.25 and then hit okay. And then I always like to choose high for my print quality and then hit okay again. Now you'll see that it has automatically resized it. We've still got enough margin on the left and the right for the discs, so looking pretty good. Um, if yours does not look like this where it's nicely um, shrunk, you've probably still got it on actual size. Make sure that you change it to fit because if you leave it like this, it's going to cut off the design. It's only going to print what is shown. So make sure you choose fit to page and then portrait. If you don't have that function there and your printer only has this custom scale, mine is coming up as you need to scale it to 79%. So this was a US letter size 8.5 times 11 inch template. If you scale it to 79%, it should come up with the same result um, as entering in the dimensions that we selected. Make sure you choose portrait, unless obviously you're using a uh, landscape printable, otherwise choose portrait if it hasn't automatically detected that. And then you're ready to print. So quick recap, go to properties, printer paper size, custom, enter in the dimensions. This is the classic size, but you can do it for the big, the mini, any type of planner, it doesn't have to be happy planner, it could be recollections, plum paper, Erin Condren, you get the idea. And then hit OK high print quality, make sure fit to page is selected and then portrait and then hit print. That's it. So I hope you found this quick video helpful. I'll have links to some other printing tips that I've done, things like borderless, um, printer clean, all that kind of stuff um, linked below. And don't forget to subscribe. I usually do two planner reviews each week and a whole bunch of other planner tutorials on making printables, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.